Well, guys, I'm going to edit again. Oh, like I said, I bought that BAE Hawk. And I also paid a visit to Hobby King. And they got some nice stuff in Hobby King now. And uh, now that I got the U.S. warehouse, it's even easier to get to. So I decided to get some more stuff. As you can see, I bought a... One thing I always wanted was a case for my radio. They always... Uh, for years, I was walking out of here, going to the airfield with my radio in my hand. But I bought a case. They had a nice hard case that was a re reasonable price. And if you have a radio that handles multiple planes, this is, a, this is a must. Let me show you what I already did. Now this radio came filled with, I already went in, into the case, it came, this case came filled with, with foam. I, put, I got out my X-Acto, was going to cut out a section for my phone so my uh, radio can fit in, but it turns out this stuff is in sections. As you can see here, it's already cut for you. All you do is break it off as you need it. Within 10 minutes, I had this baby fit. Show you what I did. I hope you can see and move over a little bit. As you, look at that. I got my 9X fitted in there just right. I got my strap here. I got my uh, flying handle here. <laughs> my, my control stick. And it was real easy. Like I said, this stuff breaks off in the sections because it's already cut. Real easy, no tools needed, and now I can. I got a nice place, safe place for my radio. Like I said, I paid a nice visit to Hobby King, and I showed you before in that Hawk video. I bought some batteries, but I got bought two of them. <laughs> they had some nice deals at Hobby King. Couldn't help it. Bought some accessories. Um, I always needed some extensions. I ran out of extensions a long time ago and never had any more. So I think these are like 12 inch extensions, which I needed. I also saw some multiple plugs. I might be using these plugs. I went on ahead and clicked on the icon and got those. I needed some more flight batteries. So I got some. Uh, more rechargeable batteries because the ones I had bought from Hobby King they lasted 10 years. They're still holding but they're not as strong as they used to be. And now they run out of energy quick so I'm just gathering them all up and I'm just going to get rid of them. Now they're, they're undependable now. I can have them in my radio and in a couple hours they're dead. I can't go flying like that. So I bought, got, got some new batteries. Uh, how many packs did I get? One, two, three. Bought three of them. Get this phone out the way. And I also bought some new connectors. These are the, uh, if you've ever seen these, these are the no spark connectors. When you plug your battery into your plane, you hear that pop, that spark? These are like safety plugs. You only, you plug in your black one and your red one. One at a time, no spark. Just a little safety feature. I've seen folks, some folks on YouTube use that. I decided to go ahead and click on it, click on it, and get me some too. And it's a lot. I'm gonna say it's a it's a good change away from the usual one plug deal. But I got these anyway because I might be changing the plugs on all my batteries. I, I like I usually like using those big red plugs. So they're they're they're. They're not hard to find. I think they they don't make them anymore. So I'm just going to change over all my plugs. And I, and I so <laughs> anyway, like I said, I'm just recovering, <coughs> taking it easy. Like I mentioned in the other video, I had another pulmonary embolism, and I ended up in the hospital again. Fortunately, I I caught it before it, it really took me out. I was at one of my stops, and uh, I, when I, I, I passed out at one of my stops, I don't know how long I was on the floor, but when I got up and I saw what time it was, I'm like, my, I must have passed out. So I finished up, closed up the place, 
called 911. <laughs> Yeah, I left the truck and uh, they told my called my bosses and said, "Come get the truck. I'm I'm, call, I'm going to the hospital." <laughs> so hey, you guys take care of yourself. I mean, I, I was really worried about going into the hospital with the COVID going around. Fortunately, I was in a room by myself, and uh, it wasn't bad the first two days. Like I said, I had a bunch of pretty nurses working with me, and uh, but after that, I was ready to go home. And it's no joke being stuck in a hospital bed, in a hospital room for seven days. And that's exactly what I was. I was ready to jump out that window. <laughs> so you guys take it easy. Be careful out there. Get vaccinated. I'm, I'm fully vaccinated. I got mine. <laughs> take care, guys.